So 65 has been around for a little bit in terms of the marketing. It's been one of those movies that's been a little bit under the radar, but it's definitely been something that I think we've been privy to for quite a while. In front of a lot of genre films, we will see the trailer for 65. Adam Driver, of course, is one of the most recognizable faces now in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Post Star Wars, he's done a lot of really interesting work and has worked with a lot of notable directors like Noah Baumbach and Martin Scorsese. But he's dipping back into genre fare here, which he's been away from for, since I think the Star Wars movie, since The Rise of Skywalker back in 2019. In addition to that, it's also a dinosaur movie, which we don't get a ton of those, but I think anytime you see a dinosaur movie it's going to get people to talking like oh wait there's a new dinosaur movie in theaters especially now that jurassic world has sort of wrapped up its recent iteration mm -hmm. of franchise and so it has a lot going for it in terms of the premise and in terms of the pitch but we had to go check it out to see how it was actually going to deliver so with all of that out the way i will pass it over to you man what do you think about 65 you know a, a good idea i think is adam driver fights dinosaurs to be honest, that's simple. I I I bought into that idea. <laughs> I am fine with that, especially like you said, a uh, a movie where this is there is no Jurassic Park. Uh, very rare that we see dinosaurs nowadays outside of that franchise, and so I was interested coming in to 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 this film. And I'm gonna really keep this short, man. It's for me. It's it's just the I'm okay with a simple premise. But I feel like there are ways around it in which you can make a simple premise exciting. And unfortunately, this movie, for the most part, was just boring. I was just I kept waiting for things to happen. And when they did happen, either they were too familiar or I don't some it's just something I had seen before. And I was like, is that it? Is that all we're getting? Um, and so I was I don't know, man, I just really left the film disappointed because I felt like. Sometimes, to be honest, I even feel like they took this movie too seriously. Part of me wishes they even reached into like this weird predator territory or you know what I'm saying? Where like Adam Driver is the movie star who fights dinosaurs and he has guns. And part of me wishes they tapped into something like that because that's really what it is. It's a dude in the forest fighting dinosaurs. And it's almost like they didn't. It's almost like they're trying to elevate their own story a little bit. And some of those beats do work. Don't get me wrong. There, is, there are parts of this film where I'm like, okay, that could be a thing. And then it just doesn't really become anything at all by the end of it, man. So uh, I think, again, the skeleton, the idea, I love the idea of this dude from the future getting trapped <laughs> in this time period where there's dinosaurs and he has future gadgets to fight them. And there's this little girl involved in all of these things but i just really wish it, it 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 exists in this weird medium where it's almost not enough and then sometimes it's, they're trying to do too much so yeah i left disappointed and unfortunately it was pretty boring for me yeah not a great movie there, there's not really much to say it's not a train wreck there are some things that i like about it but overall the execution just wasn't there i think the biggest problem mm -hmm. with 65 is the fact that one that's a bad title they should have named it something else two it's pretty bad the story is really, really thin. I, I just don't think that there's really much there. A lot of the story takes place in the first 20, 25 minutes in establishing the characters, establishing what's happening, especially like as it relates to Adam Driver's character and his relationship to his family and his daughter in this movie. But then from there, once he gets transported somehow back in time to, to 65 million years ago and we're sort of left with the main premise of this movie – it just doesn't add up to really a fun experience overall. It's just kind of one of those things where you watch it, you see the attacks happen, you see him come across many different species and dinosaurs, and sometimes it's like kind of frightening. There's a couple of jump scares, and sometimes it's like, oh, that's a really nasty insect that he's coming in co into contact with. And then, oh, there's the really huge dinosaur. How is he going to defeat that? But oh no, anything before <laughs> or after that, that that makes you want to just like totally invest into the character or the story and so i think that it's not campy enough to just think it's like a big dumb fun movie and it's exactly serious to take it serious it's just not exactly it's just gonna like be like oh yeah this is like an actual credible movie like it's that weird in between where it's like it's not enough of plane but it's also simultaneously not enough of like you said predator i think is a good example mm -hmm. recent predator mm -hmm. movies have been a little bit more campy but you know it's just one of those things that's unfortunate you you, you definitely want to see adam driver in better projects he is a just such an excellent talent in Hollywood. He's such a fascinating and great actor that can do a lot of different things. And, and the fact that he was coming back into a genre film, I was really, really looking forward to that because I think he has the capability to, to be a leading man in that respect. And 
potentially be a part of another franchise if he wants to one that mm. doesn't mm-hmm. provide much in the way of hope as it relates to that. But that's that's mostly due to the material that he's working with. It's not because of him himself. He's always going to be fine. What do you think about dinosaur movies at this day and age? I think I think we kind of need a reset on dinosaur movies because Jurassic World has kind of gone away. It'll be back. It, they, they're definitely going to make more. But I don't know where you go with dinosaurs. It's one of those things that's always reliable. It feels like people are always mm-hmm. up for dinosaur movies, but maybe not if it's if it's if it's in the case of something like this where it's like there's like minimal dinosaur. It's like twenty percent dinosaur when we're really looking for like oh I need like seventy five percent dinosaur. But what do you think about where dinosaur movies could go in the future? Man, I really don't know. It's hard to tell. Again, there's some there's something about the premise of really new technology and these like old dinosaurs that was interesting in this movie in particular in 65, but they don't do enough with it for me to be like, oh, that's the reason why I came, or this is what the interesting part of the film. Part of me even wishes somebody else kind of explores that idea in a different way. In fact, the video games, Horizons, the Horizon video games, man, they're doing it right. If anybody's doing dinosaurs right, it's Horizon Zero Dawn, man, where the dinosaurs are mechs for the most part. I can imagine some kind of dinosaur story where it's the old dinosaurs versus the mechs. Low key, we're probably about to get a decent, it's not dinosaurs one to one. We're probably about to get a decent example of what a good dinosaur story could be, hopefully, in this next Transformers film. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like those concepts. And some of the things that they're going to be playing with in those films where there's old uh, beasts that turn into Transformers and things like that. I feel like there might be some interesting things there, man. So I really don't know. Dinosaurs, like you said, it's always something that's there. It just needs to be interesting. Um, and I think I think something playing with that technology uh, could be really cool, to be honest. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Dinosaurs will always work in cinema because people just have a thrill with that, especially considering we did not exist at the time that they existed. But this was forgettable. You cannot create a forgettable dinosaur movie. That's a hard thing to do to create something that's forgettable with dinosaurs, (laughs) but they somehow managed to accomplish that. But folks, those are our thoughts on the new science fiction action film 65. If you checked out this movie, definitely hit us up and let us know what you think.